Okay, I think I'm recording. Welcome to day eight of my first documentary. Today, I got started on script writing. I started out, you can see, I started out trying to write it on paper and that very quickly became not acceptable because I can type faster than I can write. So I'm making notes and when I'm printing out different articles to read that up for the history that I wanna include in the script, I am taking physical notes on that, but I have opened a Google Drive doc and Word doc and I am just typing all of my thoughts in there. I got started on this and I stared at the page and was a little intimidated by the fact that I had to fill said page with words. And I started writing it out and I went, oh, this is going to be harder than I thought. But I did it. I wrote two pages today. And actually, I don't know if you follow C. Robert Cargill. And I'm sorry if I'm saying his name absolutely incorrectly, because I don't actually know how I ended up following him on Twitter. But I'm so glad I did, because he has written four books, three movies, and two podcasts, according to his Twitter bio there. But he's constantly posting script writing and writing in general things on there that are just massively encouraging to me. And he almost always knows exactly what to say right when I need to hear it to, to not quit and walk away. So that if you are not really following him, go and do that. Um, he, he's just fantastic. But one of the things that he talks about is that you, you just – have to write it. You just have to put it down on the page, add the words, get it done. Because once it's written, you can go back and edit it. You can change stuff. You can add stuff. But if you don't write it, it won't get written. It won't get done. So I've just dove in and um, we have a working title for it now. I'm going to call the documentary The Art of the Sword, Fencing Masters in 16th Century Theater. And we might change that to Fencing Masters in Shakespeare's Theater. I'm, I'm not sure. but And I'm not even sure if I'm actually following the correct format for how to write a script. But I figure since I'm writing it for me, I don't really need it to fit somebody else's definition of what a script is. So at least for day eight, my goal was start writing the script. Um, don't worry about, you know, whether you have the right script writing software. Don't worry about whether you're including all the right formatting and things. I am going to go and look into what a script format is supposed to look like um, because I would like to do it professionally and learn how that is. But for today, it was just about getting it done, getting it down, getting it on there. And I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I did decide to go with stock footage instead of me trying to to narrate it and come up with a good background for that. I figure I, I've been watching a lot of yesterday. I didn't include this in yesterday's video, but after I shot my update for yesterday, we went and watched a couple of Ken Burns documentaries to take notes about how he did things. And, you know, his classic thing he's known for, it's even called the Ken Burns effect inside editing software, or at least it is inside iMovie. I actually think it's also called that inside Final Cut. Um, I'd have to look. I know Final Cut does it. I don't know if they give Ken Burns credit for this effect or not, but it's when you can insert a photo into a video timeline and the, it pans across the photo. So it gives the photo a moving image quality without you having to have film footage. Well, since what I'm making a movie about is a lot of historical documentation, there's a lot of historical documents and fencing manuals that I, I want to show and include. And there's still images. And so I think what I'm going to do is instead of trying, I am going to be the narrator. I think that just eliminates me having to hire somebody. And I've got all the audio equipment from podcasting anyway. I can record myself doing the narration. And I think that'll be okay. Plus, that's just really fun to get to do. Um, but I'm going to do stock footage and photos because I think there are a good many public domain photos, especially... Um, because it's a historical topic, there's a lot of historical images that I can use and not have to pay for. And we'll just do the Ken Burns effect. And I figure if it's good enough for Ken Burns, it'll do. It's a pretty solid approach, I think, um, especially since the goal is to do a film and, and do it well and then learn. You know, it, that's the goal. So we're not going to be not going to be afraid of the fact that 
it doesn't have everything. And I'm trying to let the documentary sort of lead me. I'm, I'm writing this story down, but as we make it, if we get in there and it's like, oh, I need to change this to that, or maybe if we spun it this way, it would work out better. I expect this whole process to be very you know, dynamic and, and fluid in that way. And so I'm trying to not set my script up to where I can't adapt or redo or change this a little bit here and there, wherever I need to do that. Mostly what I'm doing with the script right now is getting my ideas out of my head and onto the paper. Because what I need to be able to do is to figure out where I need the guests to speak and what I need them to say. Because the next step after getting the script drafted is to make a list of who do I need to talk to and what do I need to ask them. And so the script is really helping me figure out what those questions need to be by separating out what am I going to say as a narrator versus what do I need someone to say on camera as a guest. And so we're going to, I'm, I'm basically writing the story of Italian fencing masters in 16th century theater in my words. Like, I'm going to tell you this story. I've researched it. I've done other videos on YouTube about this. I've written articles about this. So I'm compiling all of that. And I'm going to tell you my version of this story. And then I'm going to put images and interviews in there with it to turn it into a documentary. So we're going to take this information and turn it into a documentary. And that is day eight. So thank you for following along on this journey. It is great to have someone to talk to and to tell about what I'm doing each day to keep me motivated and moving forward and taking steps. Um, I am also, in, in terms of practical things, um, but kind of behind the scenes, quite literally on the camera here, um, I am keeping an, an outline every day of my tasks, and I have an hour every day assigned to documentary. For an hour every day, I have to sit down and do one more thing on the documentary. And I have a list of what those things are. And I talk to you about them in these videos. Like, you know, we have to write the script. We have to outline the questions for the guests. We have to do the waivers. I have a list inside my weekly day planner, whatever you call that thing. Um, and there's highlighters and stickers and colors abound. Maybe I should show you that sometime. But it, maybe we can show you that tomorrow. Because um, I'm about to, one of my tasks for this afternoon is to plan out the next week. <clears throat> so if I get the next week planned out, I can bring the planner and show it to you tomorrow as far as where I'm fitting documentary planning in around my, my regular job and homeschooling my kids and taking kids to sports and fixing meals and being all of these things that I'm being and still getting this done. I'll show you what my planner looks like because I'm very type A and I'm very list based. You know, I have a daily list of if you get this list of things done, then you can chill and feel good about it. That's how my day goes. It's like, here's five things. Do these five things and then you can chill. And, and it feels good to chill at the end of the day when you have checked everything off that list. So that's how I operate. I'll get that ready for the week and I'll show it to you guys tomorrow. But today has been all about getting the first pages of the script down on paper. There will be lots of editing. I can tell that right now, but that's okay. Step one is out of my head onto the paper. We can make it look pretty next. Yeah? Yeah. Don't forget that if you want links to the resources like C. Robert Cargill, you can search him on Twitter. He's easy to find. He, I think he's like a really cool person and I'm just behind on, on knowing about that. But um, you can find him on Twitter or I will link to it in the resources. Those will be going out on Fridays. So um, every Friday you will get an email from me with, with resources to people I mentioned or documentary films. <clears throat> Excuse me. Documentary films that I've watched that I think you should check out. <clears throat> any of that stuff um, will go out in the emails on, on Fridays. And so if you want to get that, where you want the links and the, and the resources, sign up at castingcash.com slash doc diary. That's D-O-C-D-I-A-R-Y, doc diary. Um, and it's just the resources I talk about here every day on YouTube. And I send it out on Fridays. Um, that is separate from that Shakespeare girl. If you're, if you follow me, that Shakespeare girl, regular email that goes out on Mondays about the podcast and um, did Shakespeare Saturdays. This is a separate email list because not everybody who wants to follow along in the Shakespeare history is necessarily interested in the process of making a documentary. So I put those as two lists. So I wasn't sending it out to um, people who didn't necessarily want that. So that's the plan. And I'll talk with you guys tomorrow.
hey, it's day eight. We've been doing this a whole week now. I just realized that. Go us. Okay, two pages of the script down and on to the next day tomorrow. I'll see you then.